All right, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about relationships in Laravel. What's the whole point? We want a post to belong to a category. So right now we have separate categories and separate posts, but we want a post to belong to a category and we want a category to have many posts. This introduces us to relationships. A belongs to relationship and a has many relationship. A post belongs to a category and a category has many posts. So how are we going to set this up? This is what we're going to do. In the post table, we are going to have a field called category ID. With this ID, we would know exactly what category this post belongs to. So let's go ahead and add a category field to the post table. So we can use a separate migration or we can edit this migration and then run our migrations again, refresh. So I'm just going to use the same migration just so I don't have a lot of migration files. Okay. But remember, if it's in production, you have to create a new migration. So table integer, and this is going to be called category underscore ID. And this is a standard convention with Laravel. Okay. Make sure that we have category, which is the name of the model in small letter case, and then underscore ID. Okay. Because we want a relationship between the post and the category. Okay. So we have category in small letters and then underscore ID. Next step, we are going to go to the post model and we are going to define a relationship and a relationship is simply a function. So we're going to say public function category and notice that this is the name of the model. So in small casing, we're going to return this belongs to and we're going to pass in the name of the class category class. You can do this or as usual, you can do app slash category. Okay. But in latest versions of PHP, this is going to give you that string. All right. So this belongs to category and this is telling Lavo that the post model actually belongs to the category model and Lavo will automatically make sure or try to find the category ID in the post model. Next thing, we can also define a relationship in the category by saying public function and then post with an S. And here we're going to return this has many post class. And what we are saying here is a category has many posts. And the reason why there is no ID that we need to place in the category is because we can simply check the post table and find all of the posts that have category ID as their category. And these are all the posts that belong to the category. Don't worry. We're going to talk more about it. Now that we have this in our application, we can be able to associate the post and the category. And I'm going to show you how, but first we are going to go to the create.blade.php, which is the file that we use for creating posts which is right here. Let me just show you that. And we are going to add a drop down, which shows a list of categories that we can select for this post. Okay. So this post should belong to a category. So we're just going to create a drop down. Let me just show you right here after the image dot form group. And it's just going to have a label for category. And this is going to be category. And it's going to be a select dot form control. The name is going to be category. The ID is going to be category. And we don't have any options yet. I'm just going to refresh this. Awesome. So we have category right here, but we need to search for all of the categories from the database. We get all of them and then we populate them in this drop down so that the user can select what category this post belongs to. So here's what we're going to do. Let me just create an example category. This is going to be WordPress 4.9. Create another one for jQuery. And finally, create another one for Laravel. Awesome. So those are our categories. And if we come to the post and we are trying to create a new post, we should see those three categories show up right here. So how are we going to achieve that? We need to go to our post controller. And right here in the create method, 
we need to fetch all the categories and return this view with them. So here we're just going to have with categories and category or okay and we need to use category at the top so we're going to use app slash category so now we have the categories available in the create view so in the create the blade.php we can loop through all of the categories so at for each categories as category and for each we're going to have an option and the value is going to be category ID because remember the field in the database is category ID. So what we want to do is save the ID of the category that this post belongs to. So here we're also going to print out the category name so that the user can see. So if we come back, refresh, you can see WordPress 4.9 right there. You can see jQuery and you can see Lavo. Awesome. So the user can select what category this blog post belongs to. Also, in the post controller, in the store method, we also have to pass in the category ID when creating the post. So category ID is going to be request category. And remember, it's request category because the name of our select is category. Awesome. So we want to also make sure that we update our request. So app HTTP request post. So for the create post, we want to make sure we add a validation rule for category to be required. And also when updating a post, a category should be required. So now that we have that set up, remember we updated our migration. We need to refresh our database so that those changes are reflected. So at migrate refresh it's going to refresh all of our database tables so let's just go ahead and refresh this and notice that the user is not logged in but they can actually see the page for creating a post we're going to work on that don't worry so let's go ahead and register an account okay click on post create a new post we have a category right there but we don't have any categories available just going to create some Add one for WordPress, add one for Laravel, and finally one for jQuery. Great, we have three categories when we're trying to create a post. So I'm just going to create a new post, pass in a fake description. I'm just going to copy some content from Lorem Ipsum. I'm just going to copy a fake description right here, paste it right there. Then I'm going to select a published a date in the future. And then select an image and select Lavo as a category. So if we create post, we have an error that says the category field doesn't have a default value, which means we are trying to save a post without providing a category ID. But if you check out our post controller, we are actually passing in this value. Can you try to figure out why this doesn't work? Of course. That's because we need to enable this in our fillable property. So we're just going to add category ID here. And then we'll try to save again. Great. So the post has been created successfully. Okay. If we click on edit, we have an undefined variables categories, right? Because the edit method also needs to pass the categories. So here we have with post, post. We're also going to add with categories category all and if i refresh now great you can see we have the list of categories but it's showing wordpress as selected even though the category is larval so here's what we're gonna do in the create.blade.php we want to make sure that we set selected for the specific category let me show you what i mean we're gonna say if category ID is equal to post ID and if. So here we're just going to say selected, which means that if the category ID in this loop is equal to the post ID, post category ID and if. 
then we're just going to print out selected which means that if the category id is equal to the post category id then we're going to print out selected right here so if i refresh this page you can see laval is the one selected awesome but we have to make sure that we only do this if the form is in edit mode right because if it's in creation mode the post is not going to be available so what we want to do is have a first if statement if is set post and if and then we have the check for the category id awesome so if we refresh right now we have lava great but now how does this help us we can save the category id field to the database that's the final point of relationships if we come to categories i'm gonna add a field right here that tells us the number of posts in this category let me show you how this is gonna happen i'm gonna go to the view for displaying all categories which is here and then i'm also gonna go to the table head and this is going to be post count and then i'm just gonna add the empty table head right there so i've added a new post count field so if i refresh you can see it right there and finally i'm gonna add a td and how do i know the number of posts that this category has i'm gonna say category post count and that's it so if i come right now and refresh great you can see there's one post with the category of level and no post with these two categories how does Lavo know that? Remember the post method we created right here. So this post method helps us know the number of posts that are associated with this category. So since the category has many posts, we can call the post method and it's going to count all the posts in the database where the category ID is equal to the category right here. Okay. And notice that I didn't put the two braces i didn't call the function it is really important because it's a little confusing in level we're going to talk about it but when you want to get the exact value so when you want to get the post you just call post like this let me show you if i call category post and i refresh this page you can see that right here we have an array of posts for this category okay but if i call the function and i refresh you can see that it gives us an error let me just show you the difference really important guys so i'm just going to come right here to the index method for categories so categories controller index method this is the method that returns this view right i'm just going to die dump category first so this is the first category and i'm going to call the post function if i refresh you can see it gives us a collection okay and that's the array of objects that you saw but if i call it and refresh you can see that it gives us a has many relationship okay and it has a query builder and stuff like that so this is really important you only call the function if you want to get access to the query builder like right here we can do post where published at is equal to today so the now function is going to give us the date of today okay and then if i refresh you can see, see that it gives me a query builder instance and then i can do the get function to get a collection so if i refresh you can see we have a collection of zero items so it's really important if you call the function it gives you a query builder and you can use the where function and continue chaining where and this is going to help you query the database right but once you want to have like an array of results you just need to call the get method like this so if i call the get method now it still gives me a collection okay but you always want to have just post like this and this is going to give you the array of results or a collection of all the posts that belong to this category okay so that's why here in the view right here we just do categories post then count and if i refresh great so you can see post count now how can we know what category a post belongs to let's go to the page where we display a list of posts and i'm gonna add a new table head 
and this is going to be category and I'm just gonna come right here after the title and I'm just gonna have a table data and this is going to say post would we'll get the category and we'll get the name okay so category right here is the method we defined in the model right here and this is going to give us a category that this post belongs to and the reason why we are calling name is because it's going to return to us an object and not a collection a has many means that there are many posts so it returns a collection of posts for the category has many but a belongs to means that there's only one post okay or there's only one category that this post belongs to and that's why we can get the name directly so if i refresh right now you can see the category is lava so why don't we make this a link so that the user can actually click to view the category so i'm just going to paste this right here and this is going to actually go to a route for categories dot edit and we'll pass in post category id to get the id of the category okay so if i refresh right now and click on this link it takes me to the page for editing that category awesome guys so you can see we have the has many and belongs to relationship and you can see how we can easily use that in our application all right guys this was a long one thank you so much for sticking around make sure you watch these lessons about two or three times and i'm gonna catch you on in the very next lesson